everyone. This is Anne from Odile Sina Scrap, coming back to you for my design theme project with Happiness and Crafting. So this month I'll be using the kit A Cherry Blossom Garden. So it's a kit of, there's no design paper, it's only like ephemeras, pockets and envelopes and that kind of stuff. So I started to cut my my tags and then realize oh i forgot to do the to show the kit so let me i stop there and now i'm gonna do like just a quick view so this this is all in the page that i've caught so you have like a washi tape look at those flowers i love it you have a bunch of cards so all of them i'll, I'll just go through quickly I just want to get an overview. You always have a garden item in black and white with some flowers and vintage documents, I guess, or scripting. Okay, so this is, this is the first page. And then you have two envelopes. There are different designs, but you have two, like that. Then you have big tags and some labels. Then you have two pages of the postcards. So those two pages. Then you have small uh, pockets and some labels. Two pages of those. Look at this one. I love it. Oh, that's the other page. Okay, so you have two I didn't realize they were not in order. You have two pages of big tags. And then you have another page of just small cards. Nine on the page. Smaller envelopes with some flower shapes. And those kind of envelopes with the labels. Those labels are really cute. That swirls. All right, so I'll have fun playing with those and create something that you might like. <laughs> it is a junk journal, a really shabby chic junk journal. You can see it's kind of small and uh, I love it so much. I had so much fun to create that one. Um, I promise I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to do that little journal. It is so, I don't know, it is so fun to hold in my hand the size of it, the squishiness and everything. I, I just love it and it's so grungy. So anyway, it's been done with uh, cardstock like cardstock like that just a paper bag <laughs> or a shipping shipping paper and uh, the gorgeous kit from happiness and crafting which is kind of a garden and flower theme so i'm gonna show you what it looks like i've created the closure with just a ribbon that is glued like if i open the book the journal like that uh, the ribbon is under the pockets so the pockets are holding the ribbon and uh, there's a cardstock like that uh, that is going through and this makes the structure like we can see here it's there this makes the structure of the journal and then ruffled paper and i added two signature in it all right let's go through so i added the ribbon here like a bow and it's actually here this is actually a pocket so this was meant to be removed, but somehow I stitched it with, with this here. I made a little stitch and I got the bag, the, 
the bag with it. I don't complain anyway, it looks great like that, but initially this was supposed to be removable and then you could see the, the little trim and the cardstock that I've put some gesso on. So this cannot be removed, but I'm adding just a, a card there and I've created another card with a, which is backed with a paper, a fun paper, and just a little ruffle of fabric. And inside, I've created a little tag with polka dot and just a paper clip with a bow, just to, to give some uh, dimension here. And this, this is part of the kit. Um, these are kind of labels, so I glued two together. I added an eyelet and created a little charm, which is a camera. So I know it's not related to the garden, garden or flower teams, but flower team. But I find. Like when you're in a garden and you have so much cute flowers like that, you, you need and want to take some pictures. <laughs> anyway, this is how I came with that idea. You have the cute design here of the pocket. So let's open it. So when I open it, I don't think I'll just zoom a little bit so you can see well so here there it's a little envelope so what i've done is i glued those two sides but i left that one open and it's actually it's actually that that side that is glued to the page and i hide it with a little paper a piece of paper doily so you have the envelope here that contains all the little decorations for the book and I can close like that and bring it back. So this page when it opens it looks like that with the little lace. It's just gorgeous. Now the first page it's one of the tags so I just tear the sides and I backed it with a parchment paper and I glued let's say my signatures my two signatures are starting and ending with those tags so I took two tags and I added like a sari silk in the middle that I sewed to kind of put them together as a page I'm going to show you how to do that in the tutorial later on. Just a little fabric lace. Here, uh, I added little pieces of paper in all the talk spots. So instead of gluing the little label at 100%, I just glued two sides. So it can stay there with nothing in it. But at least if you want to use it as a talk spot, you have the possibility. This one, it's just a piece of paper. And what I did is I took two little cards and I glued them together. Like here, it's full glue, but on the sides, it's just the sides except the, the bottom. So it creates a talk spot on that side and on that side as well, as well as it's decorating the page. So. I really like to work with that kit to create a mini book like that because that kit has a ton of ephemeras that are small and you just go and you create some. This was a long kind of washi tape from the kit so I just reduced it a little bit and I've created a belly band where I just created a little booklet of three pages. And the sari silk, of course, creates dimension and prevents it to go too far. 
we thought the idea was neat. Again, this is just a tag, but it it's a top spot at the same time. This is just a, a lace ruffle with a wax seal. Just a, a little bit of lace, just cute. And the middle page, it's one of the, um, the postcards that I teared all the sides and I backed with a parchment paper that is a little bit bigger, so it creates it creates the middle of the signature. And I added some charms, which are related to gardening. So that little frog and that little shuffle. <laughs> How cute is that? And the way I attach them, I'm gonna show you in the tutorial. A little bit different because, you know, it's, it's kind of a hook, it's not, pearls or beads so I used a different method using the little crimp all right let's keep going on here another pocket that I created a little booklet with one of a it's a po it's just the side of a post a postcard actually I kind of cut the postcard into three pieces, so it gives me that. And this is one of the labels, so I just added it there, kind of create a dimension. Little trim with an embossed paper. Oh, here, again, this is this, this label format, not the same. Fold it into two. I glued it to the page, then added an eyelet and attached a little charm. Just as simple as that. But the fact that it, it's on an eyelet, it's really like solid. Uh, it won't damage the paper easily and it falls on the side of the book like that. some tags like that uh, in the kit so what I've done is that page was too long so I folded the page in two and I glued two of the similar tags together so that way you have an embellishment on both sides of the paper and the kind of fit in size another pocket with one of the cards from the kit that I just added a little piece of lace in the pocket. Those pocket formats are just perfect. These are, it's the same format that I used uh, at the front, at the back, in pages, on pages. So really great. Here it's just one of the card. I glued three sides. So it created a top spot. So I just find with a small book like that, uh, if you want to do an embellishment like that, it needs to be a, a top spot because otherwise you don't really have much more place. This one I just glued it 100% because the page was not that small and I thought it can be like a good journaling page. Just a page, just a cute uh i think it comes from a wedding dress but it's been given to me so i'm not sure here it's just that tiny little piece of paper that is embossed and on that side i just stitched one of those labels and on a piece of fabric and i glued the the fabric to the paper just create some some kind of an embellishment really simple to do just scrap pieces of fabric 
And that's the end of the first signature. Second signature. All right, this, this I like it. This is, I, I started with a, a little piece of paper that is embossed. And I glued a card, but I created a top spot at the same time and created a booklet out of it. So you have that page like that, or you can add nothing to the top spot. And then you can add the top spot and it's a little booklet by itself. Like that. An envelope that has been coffee stained, so the, the pink is more vintagey. It's a little bit less pink. And I've added those uh, cards from the kit. And with one of those cards, I've created a little tiny booklet. So you can see it's those cards and just scrap pieces of papers. I love tiny booklets. I don't know why. <laughs> Here, um, it's that little piece of uh, paper, calligraphy paper. And I took one of the cards, the this format, where is same format that here or that, because I think you have eight of those, so you have plenty of choices. But I folded it into two, and I glued the sides, three sides, so you have not three sides actually, just just a little bit on the paper on both sides, so you have a talk spot like that. So same for the other side, actually. I didn't put any paper, but I could just use it as a talk spot as well. Just make sure I'm on frame. Just adding a little uh, piece of lace and playing with the coffee stain with different different styles. Just a paper doily that has been coffee stained. I didn't do that since a while. When I started doing junk journals, I was inserting doilies in every signature I was cre creating and I kind of forgot that. So, but this was the perfect size. So, yep, another uh, music sheet. This is actually vintage music sheet. Just adding a little chiffon silk. And the middle signature again, it's um, it's a postcard. And I added those trims. So little bells, jingle bells, but they are they don't seem like Christmas things. And the little key, the key to the garden. Music, again a little uh, top spot. Here just adding a little cluster of fabric of laces with some embroidery knots. I love when the fabric, the laces are kind of adding some dimension to the page. Again, a talk spot like that on those little pieces of uh, calligraphy paper. The other side of the envelope, what I did in it, I've added a card and it's kind of an envelope like that I didn't glue it just added in, adding it there but here I attached one of the the other envelope that I decorated so at the front I just added some places and at the back a wax seal that I glued on it and I've added some of the cards 
that I've been using all along. But there are so many in the kit that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of leftovers. Okay, so I'll put everything into the bag. And this I'm gonna use the flap of the envelope to kind of decorate the other page. There is a cute embossed paper here. And that's the end of the signature. There's another envelope here. Um, pocket. There's another pocket here. I just put the paper there uh, to show that we can put something there. But this is what it looks like if there's no paper. And the back of the book, the journal, it's again, there's a pocket and I just glued a piece there like that, but it's a pocket so I can add those, uh, those two cards in it. So that journal is small, but it contains a tons of pockets and uh, and decorations and places for journaling actually so I'll just do my bow and here you go I hope you like it and it inspires you and um, I'll do a tutorial in the next coming weeks. Uh, December will be kind of a crazy month for me because I'm moving to a farm. So um, we are in the moving process and finishing some touches on the farm, uh, like painting and changing the floors. So I'll be a little bit busier than usual in the next month so I don't know when I'll be able to create the tutorial for that but let's say before Christmas for sure so stay tuned thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye